The kappa is one of Japanese culture's most celebrated and dreaded yokai, an amphibious humanoid figure with a tortoise shell and scaly skin. It has a hole in its head, known as a sara, that must always be filled with water to maintain its strength and powers. It lives in lakes, streams, and swamps, preying on those who come close to its territory, mainly children, women, and fishermen. Kappas are famous for their antics, varying from harmless pranks to more spiteful deeds. These yokai are notorious for dragging people or animals into the water, but there are also tales of their friendlier and more helpful nature, especially when treated with respect or when offered cucumbers, one of their favorite foods. They are often seen as evil, but in some tales, they are simply naughty and sneaky. Despite their mischievous nature, kappas are extremely honest and are known to keep their promises. There are stories of kappas challenging residents of regions near rivers and lakes to a sumo wrestling bout. As they are quite strong, sometimes a ploy could be used to bow respectfully. When the kappa bowed back, water would pour out of the hole in its head and it would become weaker. One fascinating facet of a kappa is the intricate combination of awe and reverence that they inspire in Japanese culture. They are feared for their pranks and potential danger to humans, but they are respected and deemed capable of acts of kindness, such as helping with farming or teaching humans the art of medicine. Kappas are notoriously cucumber-loving, and families sometimes throw cucumbers in the kappa-inhabited waters to appease them, which is why festivals were held with cucumber offerings to the kappas to calm the spirits of those yokai. But stories about kappas are a way of conveying moral lessons, especially to children, about the dangers of rivers and lakes, and the responsibility of respecting nature. They also often reflect a deep and respectful connection with the natural world, a central element of Shinto, Japan's traditional religion. The kappa also has a role in contemporary culture, featuring in a range of media, from manga and anime to films and video games, often portrayed in a friendlier, less menacing way.